So, hi there. So far, I did not have time to talk about the new features introduced by the Driven by Moss extension 8.6 and 8.7. So, I thought let's do a little video showing off those new features, especially for the Machine Micro Mark III, the supported launch pads, and the Push 1 and 2. So, let's dive into that. First step Machine Micro Mark III. Turns out I did something wrong in the last update I offered as the template to use a full memory dump which had the drawback that you overrode your other memory dumps which should not be the case so now in this version we are back to an included template and the template is opened here if you go to edit to open you select the bitwig.ncmm3 template and also can send it over to your device if you have it here in a list so you can still keep your other templates so let's fire up bitwig and we have here the machine online and as you see it's playing nicely and in the previous version we had already the note repeat and what is now nice you can also change the note repeat not only via long pressing this uh, note repeat button but you can also here use the ribbon to change it and for that i had to change that a bit so pitch is still changing the pitch mod is now toggling between expression 1 and 11 and perform is having here the level so you can still control the volume and notes is now changing the note repeat period and the length you can choose between those two so this is really funny if we go over like this so you can also especially use it nicely together with the drum machine let's check out the drum machine or the snare So funny stuff you can integrate in your performance. Now that we can also use button combination with the previous firmware update of the Machina Micro 3, we can now do stuff like deleting things and also duplicating things. For example, if we go here in the select, so we have tracks here, so you could, for example, erase a track, go here and the track is gone, or you could use duplicate for duplicating things, for example, here the track. So so we had a duplicate of the tracks and this works nicely for scenes, clips and tracks as well. We also have a browser feature in the clip mode. Let's create audio track, go here to the browser, that one and tap the pad and we'll then get the browser for WAV files. So we could select something here and confirm that and have it then loaded into that pad so nice little feature as well so much for the machine let's switch over to the launch pad so here is a launch pad up and running the launch pad x and you also have a little new feature you can also do duplicate and scene you can go to the session and then you can say you want to duplicate and that's also a new feature with those non-pro models so with the pro we have here the specific duplicate and delete buttons but here now i put in a mode so if you press the delete or the duplicate button it will enter a mode for that so for example let's try the duplicate you see the pad is now blinking so it's now in duplicate mode you saw that also on the screen so if you now press something for example here the scene the scene will be duplicated and the same works for the tracks and devices and clips as well same is for delete for example if you would like to delete a clip you can enter here delete mode you see also that button here is now blinking and you could go here into the session and for example we could want to delete that one and it's gone as well so really handy extension I think another nice feature is if we are in a browser it always will open the browser to change the currently selected device but so far you could not add new devices in front or after the device so what you now can do you can push the up or down cursor key here so if you press the up you will move the browser to the front or if you press the down you will move it to the end so now you could select here a new device to be added after the current one for example let's say we put in here a compressor and confirm it and you have easily added here a device like this let's switch over to the push 
Since the push also has a ribbon, you might expect what's happening now. You also have now this new mode. And if you go here into the edit mode for the ribbon controller here, you see there is now also the option to use note repeat. You can either turn it off completely or you can select to change a period and length, which means turning it off. If you enable note repeat, it will the pitch will still work into the selected function. But if you have selected period or length and you enable repeat, it will change its behavior to the selected period or length. So let's look into that. We have normally playing, enter, note repeat. And now you can also like as I showed before the launch pad, you can change the period and also switch to length. And you can change very quickly the length of the note. Same is for drum sounds again, where it makes even more sense to have quick drum rolls and stuff like that. Another nice feature is if you create a clip somewhere, let's just select the existing one and go into the sequencer. For example, let's create some notes here. And what you can do now, which was also available since the previous version, you can adjust the velocity, the gain, the panorama and all that stuff. And if you did that modifications, it's now possible to duplicate a note. So simply keep the duplicate button pressed, press the pad of the note you want to copy and you can copy that note anywhere you like. And as you see, it has the same settings as the previous note. So all your settings are copied. For example, if you want to build up some climax and make the next note a little bit louder, the next one a little bit louder, this is pretty handy to copy the same uh, information as well. You can also select as a destination an existing note, then this note will get also all the settings of the previous note you selected for copying. So thanks for watching. That's a quick uh, guide through the new features available in the versions 8.60 and 8.70 and make some funky music.